real estate edge with Jimmy Singh and we are here today on March uh, end of March 2020 uh, with COVID-19 being uh, a world phenomenon in terms of a scare danger and fear although the markets are crashing although the fear of uncertainty lurches across the globe we are here to help you understand what is the real estate market in GTA and, and uh, Southwestern Ontario. Uh, I am here with Jimmy Singh to provide some updates on real estate uh, market in terms of GTA and Southwestern Ontario. Hi, Rajwan. Uh, so uh, before we you know, uh, discuss the real estate, first I like to thank all the police officers, healthcare professionals, uh, all the truck, uh, you know, trucking industry people or the, you know, grocery store yeah, clerks. Yeah. All the frontline people. All the frontline people, you know, we have the luxury to sit home and then, you know, work. But those people are going every day. They're leaving their families behind. Uh, big respect and big salute to them. And uh, also, uh, you know, our condolences to families who have lost their loved ones uh, to, uh, you know, coronavirus. Yeah. And uh, I hope and pray, uh, you know, God gave them strength to go with this grief. Yeah, that's, uh, that's strange. That's, uh, that's very tough timing for everybody. And we, we are here with you and we, we are mourning with your dead ones. And we, we want to help all the people uh, in their respective fields. So coming to uh, real estate, uh, Rizwan, uh, there's two aspects. First is consumer confidence or you know how psychologically they are feeling mm -hmm. and second thing fi financial angle mm -hmm. and uh, things have changed pretty much you know since last we made videos like a month ago or four weeks ago right yeah and nobody saw this coming yeah you know, the virus yeah came quickly. I mean well, in last month and now the world has changed yes drastically uh, so what I'm feeling in the market is obviously there's a lot of fear there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. and there's unknown effect correct uh, yeah. Because until people find, you know, answer to those questions and uh, my my uh, gut feeling is until we find the cure or, you know, the death rate come down mm -hmm. or people start going to work, you know, there's a lot of people who will be, you know, sitting back and, you know, not taking the next step. Correct. Because yeah. when there's fear or uncertainty, people get frozen, they don't make any decision. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, but obviously, uh, uh, I'm a real estate agent and real estate broker. I do study markets every day. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's certain I see still strength in the market. Yeah. But obviously, it can change down the line. Mm -hmm. So before we go, I just want to share uh, some stats uh, for this month, starting March first, 2020, up to March 27th. That is today, 2020. Okay. How things have fared in GTA and surrounding areas. Now watch it. Uh, this actually should give you a real perspective how the market are behaving. Okay. So in the morning, I checked out in Toronto this month, 984 detached homes have sold. Mm -hmm. And if I study condos, 1337 condos have sold. They're comparable to last year, uh, you know, same time March. Mm -hmm. If I study Peel, that is Mississauga, Brampton, Caledon, 939 detached have sold this month, uh, condos 408. If I study uh, York sales, York, uh, Vaughan, Richmond Hill, Newmarket, 981 sales uh, in March, uh, condos 302. Mm -hmm. And if I talk about uh, Durham region, that is Ajax, Pickering, uh, East End, 834 homes are sold. They are more than the last year. Sales okay. and 110 condos. And if I, even I see uh, markets like London, uh, the detached homes sold this month was 301, and the condos sold are 157. And interestingly, I also checked uh, the conditional sales for this week. There's 86 conditional sales in London, and it's not people are buying 200,000 houses. I did check. Some houses are a million dollars. Some are more okay. than a million dollars. Some are six, seven, eight hundred. So this is all different price point. Okay. So it okay. really subjective what your family needs and how qualified or financially strong you are. You are. Right. So these are all the facts, and uh, obviously you know facts don't lie. Though there's a lot of doom and gloom in the marketplace. Yeah. And we perceive something different in our mind, but right now everything is steady. Mm -hmm. But as I said, things might change depending what data government comes up with. Right. Correct. Yeah. And the good part is government is putting a lot of liquidity in the market. Yes. A uh, trillions of dollars. Uh, plus, recently, uh, you know, the government uh, promised to buy from CMHC 50 billion worth of insured mortgages mm -hmm. to clear the books of the banks. 
to provide liquidity so they can keep lending. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, we'll discuss all these details in the next video, but uh, these are all the facts. And other thing I like to talk uh, to my audience is, you know, everybody talks about crash, bubble, you know, we talk in so many videos before. Yeah. People always, you know, this is a time of opportunity. Yeah. Like people talk, uh, you know, let's say uh, stock market. Stock markets do crash 10 to 20, 30 percent within week, not real estate. Correct. Yeah. We can only see the impact in next quarter, maybe quarter, you know, after that. After that. But this is the situation. Like I was dealing with certain sellers last week and they said, Jimmy, if we can't get this price, we'll take house of the market. Mm -hmm. It just, you know, if they don't have to sell, they don't have to sell. Yeah. Let's yeah. say your house is worth 600,000. Yeah. And you say, Jimmy, this is my, you know, goal. Yeah. If I say I have an offer of 550, would you sell? No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, if you're looking for bottom, you probably won't get it. Yeah. Same thing happened in 2000 when uh, 17 when the market was peaking. I see people overbidding 100,000, 200,000, 50,000. You know, it was frenzy. Right. People are lined up at the builder sales site, sleeping in the cars for seven days just to buy a house. <laughs> and when the opportunity comes in 2018, they say, oh, oh, oh let's wait. It's going to crash. Uh, okay. And they keep waiting. And then, you know, they jump in 2019 and, you know, even in 20. And right. now they're paying more than that. Right. 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 Yeah. So, you know, again, when is the right time? The time is right when you're financially ready. Yeah. You're financially and psychologically. Correct. And I, last week alone, you know, a uh, couple of my clients are dealing with the properties. I showed them they're going in multiple offers. Mm -hmm. Though, you know, we can't do open house, you know, th th we're dealing, you know, virtual tours or Zoom or, you know, uh, WhatsApp and stuff like that. Yeah. But I have clients out there looking to buy and do I have sellers looking to sell as well. Yeah. So there are people out there, real people, as I said, uh, yeah, all the these statistic tests. tells us. Yeah. In GTA, guys, every year, 100,000 houses sell. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, some months they have 6,000, 7,000, but overall that's the data for last like so many years. Mm -hmm. Same in London, every year 10,000 houses sell. And, uh, you know, obviously seasonal, some months have, you know, more traffic, some months have less traffic. Mm -hmm. And uh, beginning of this year, uh, Rizwan, January, we have 65% more new home sales versus 2019. Mm -hmm. In February, we have 45% more sales volume as compared to last year okay so yeah. coming from spring you know what i mean it was on yeah. fire it was on fire yeah and uh, i personally believe you know until we find a cure maybe it will take two months four months five months once we do that uh, you know market will normalize mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because if we study the impact historically let's say we talk 2003 about sars okay so when the sars come in 2003 uh, the impact on canadian gdp was 0.15 percent mm-hmm and obviously, then 2007 happened, 8 happened, financial meltdown happened, right? Okay. And after that, 9-11 happened. Okay. So, we always feel, you know, it's going to be end of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, life goes on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Warren Buffett, uh, one of the biggest investors, says when uh, people are being afraid, take a courage. Step into this. Make a front line. And when on the other side of people being greedy, you step back. Uh, so this is the market. So we, we don't want it to downplay what's COVID-19 is happening. We're not asking you to forget about what is uh, happening in the world, but we are just specifically from the statistic and from the uh, historical background, what the real estate market. So Jimmy is actually providing you the real benefit of the opportunity cost right now. See, the policy makers or politic, you know, all the parties are coming together. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure there's plenty of liquidity in the market. Correct. And as I said, they're buying, you know, 50 billion worth of insured mortgages from banks. And then they're giving you six months deferral if you qualify. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they cut the interest rate radically. You know what I mean? From 3.95 to 2.95. Okay. One percentage point within a span of one month. Okay. Because they want, you know, people, you know, uh, if they're sitting home, they, you know, they take care of them. Okay. So you don't have to worry. We have systems in place. I'm very uh, bullish on our financial, you know, health of our banks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll be fine. And uh, it just don't get into debts and then talk to your bank if you're in a situation of missing a payment and stuff like that. Be proactive. Don't assume just because government says, you know, they can defer payment. Uh, you know, it's discretion of the bank. You still have to pick the phone, get a permission. You know, can you work with me? Mm -hmm. And banks can pick and choose. You know, it's not that it's free for everybody. Right, right. Right. And as I said, uh, market always goes, guys, up and down. And this will, will not last forever. And it's just a matter of time and things will turn around. And focus on big picture. 
Mm-hmm. Real estate is not like a day trading. You buy in the morning, you sell in the evening. Yeah. You buy for living. You probably live for 10 years. Yeah. If I live in a house worth 800,000 and suddenly some agent says my house is down 50,000, what do I you know, care? Yeah. I'm not selling. That's right. So <laughs> if I'm not selling, I'm not losing any money. Right. Yeah. So uh, interest is historically low, guys. So if you want a refinance, you know, uh, or stretch your amortization, talk to your bank. And if you want to buy good investment properties, there's still opportunity. You know, there's less people bidding on it. And uh, at the end, all I want to say is if you have any questions regarding real estate, uh, give me a call. My number is right there. And if you like our video, share your thoughts, how your fam- family is coping with financial stress. And uh, we can share with each other. And thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. We will be uploading videos every week, uh, especially for COVID-19, how to cope with the, with the financial stress in terms of real estate market. Uh, God bless you all. Stay safe.